What's up Ravens and welcome to another edition of ONW Now. Today we're bringing you coverage of spring sports and a look at the weather. For Pedro Von Simpson, I'm Megan Boppert. Let's get started. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. After winning the championship in the KC Premier League, the KC Nuggets are back for their second season. Tanner Nelson has the details. You've probably seen those white t-shirts with the chicken nuggets on it all around school, but where exactly did they come from? Jonathan Selby, a senior at Olathe Northwest High School, is the co-founder and team captain of the Kansas City Nuggets. Um, the Nuggets is our basketball team. Uh, we've been going on, we've been, been going for about three years now. Uh, recently won a championship, so uh, we're really going up in the ranks throughout the uh, Kansas City Premier Basketball League. We won a championship. Pretty big deal, I know. Household name. Good environment. I'd compare us to like Florida Gulf Coast or the NCAA tournament, you know? The Nuggets idea originated two years ago when the co founders, who are seniors now, were only sophomores. Uh, the idea was Samuel Purr, Samuel Peaster, and my idea back in uh, sophomore year. We were just looking for something to do in our spare time, so we came up with a basketball team. If you're lucky enough to attend a Nuggets basketball game, you'll notice the extreme dedication and determination that each and every player has. Hey, Jeezy's ball, ISO. The name was actually all Samuel Purr, and to be honest, everybody hated the name at first because we didn't want to be the Nuggets. But it grew on us, and it is now a household name. The Nuggets are more than just your average recreational basketball team. They are consistently helping out the community every single week, acting as great role models to the kids that look up to them. This has been Tanner Nelson for Game Day Northwest. $10 a piece. Deliver $10 to Morgan Funk, Samuel Purr, or myself, and we'll get you a tank. One love. A few of ONW's students have hobbies that are unknown to most people. Candy has a look at students who have a passion for My Little Pony. Pinkie Pie tells me you share my love for fashion. I'm really into expressing myself through my wardrobe. Matt Webster, senior at ONW, identifies himself as a brony. So a brony can be either a male fan of the show My Little Pony or any fan out of the target demographic. Uh, one of my other friends told me to watch the show My Little Pony. I thought it was a joke at first, but after watching a few episodes, I decided it was pretty good. Bronies have also developed their own distinct culture. Uh, you'll hear, you're going to hear 20% cooler if you hang out with bronies, because our uh, famous Rainbow Dash line. We like to make brony music, brony fan art. Uh, brony fiction, and we make brony fan-made episodes. Bronies also have the opportunity to attend pony cons. I mean, there's pony cons all over the place. If you search up pony con, I think they have a whole list of, I think there's almost a hundred this year. The brony community receives a lot of negative attention to which Webster responds. So one of our mottos is don't feed the Paris sprites, which is basically don't get trolled. I mean, the more you feed trolls and people who just want to hate, the more they're going to hate, because I mean, well, that's the only reason people hate, because it's fun. Despite this negative attention, bronies are still proud. For ONW Now, this is Candace Hayes. Candy, now let's take it to Quinn and Jack for Game Day Northwest. I'm Jack Weaver, alongside Quinn Ponder. The Raven baseball team has several victories led by ace pitcher Austin Hayes. Oh, anybody has more. The Olathe Northwest baseball season is off to a strong start with wins over Olathe East, Olathe North, and Lawrence for a 3 and 4 record. Junior Austin Hansen tells us about the senior leaders on the team. Uh, team leadership is good. The seniors, Morgan Funk and Chris Hendricks, kind of lead the, lead the team and lead by example at practice and make sure everyone's doing the right thing. Seniors aren't the only ones stepping up to the plate. Underclassmen with this year as their first year on varsity play a big role in the Ravens' wins. 
underclassmen are good this year. Neil Nicelinger is catching, and he's stepping up, leading the team at the catcher, and he's hitting good this year and throwing people out. As underclassmen are getting accustomed to varsity play and varsity coach Rick Setter, senior Chris Hendricks tells us about the players' relationship with their coach. Uh, I love Setter. His coaching style is pretty good. He's really laid back with us, which helps us stay relaxed during games. Come and watch the Ravens take on Shawnee Mission West Vikings tomorrow at 3-2 and two at 7 p.m. For ONW Now, this has been Elena Gray. Now back to the desk. We hope they carry on to their road to state. Now let's take it to Jesse Payne for a recap of the swim team's latest meet. Last Tuesday, the ONW girls swim and dive team placed first at the Shawnee Mission invite. We had nine people place first. Four have already qualified for state, including London Durr, Taylor Badowski, Hannah Pugh, and Brenna Gull. London Durr and Taylor Badowski tells us how they feel about qualifying for state. Um, I honestly didn't think I would at the beginning because, you know, I was a freshman and I just didn't know, like, how I would like do in the high school season and stuff, so I'm happy that I did. <laughs> um, it's super fun and it's not as much pressure because I feel like I don't have to run the team since I'm only a sophomore, but I love like the excitement of state and like it's exciting to be a part of the state team. Gus Sellen, a senior diver along with Lana Herman, Carly Straup, and Mikkel Reed placed in the top six in the women's 100 meter dives. Gus Sellen explains what her favorite part about diving is. I love the team and the swimming team as well. Um, we are so close-knit. We cheer for all of the other divers. All like divers from other schools will come up to us and just be so like just thank us for cheering for them because their own swimmers don't and our swimmers will too. And it's it's just a great, it's a big family and it's just so much fun. Congratulations ladies. For ONW Now, I'm Jesse Payne. Thanks, Jesse. The Lady Ravens soccer team took on Lawrence Chesley Lions last week. Joe Kliga has a recap. The Lady Ravens soccer team competed last Tuesday against Lawrence High School in an astounding 9-0 victory. Senior Abby Moore and sophomore Tatum Heller led the team in scoring with a combined six goals, each having a hat trick. Um, overall, I think we played pretty well. We didn't have very tough competition, but um, we didn't let down, and I think we played pretty good. After a slow start to the soccer season, senior Abby Moore saw this as a morale booster for her team. It definitely gives us a lot of confidence seeing the ball in the back of the net a lot, and hopefully we can continue to score a lot. Come support your Lady Ravens tomorrow at 7 o'clock while they take on the Lawrence Free State Firebirds. For ONW Now, I'm Joe Kaliga. Back to the desk. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for watching Game Day Northwest. Fine. For that. Yeah. For Quinn Barkley, and I'm Jack Weaver. Uh, bye bye. Thanks, guys. Now let's take it to Kyle for the weather report. What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this week's weather report. I'm Kyle Smith. Let's get started. Today, it's going to be a little cool block in the door, 65 later on. Tomorrow, possible chances of rain. It's Friday, also possible chances of rain, 68 on Saturday. Sunday, it's going to be a little cold, chances of showers on your Easter Sunday, 72 on Monday, and then 77 on Tuesday, setting you up for a great week. Now let's take it back to the desk. That's all we have for you on this edition of ONW Now. For Megan Bopper, I'm Pedro Von Simpson. Enjoy your three-day weekend, Ravens.